Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today, today, today we're looking at 3D Code. 3D Code has an update and you know, it's it's been a long time since we ever had anything from the guys at Pilgwe. So, the guys at Pilgwe, they the makers of 3D Code recently released you know an update to the tool the only tool to me that i actually think is a strong competition to zbrush in terms of you know functionalities and other stuff this is widely known i mean the 3d code tool is widely known for the fact that you can do voxel sculpting inside retopology smart material you know painting and and all those incredible things the uv is incredible as well and some guys get to spend the entire time working with the curves so curves is also another thing that these guys have that makes it shine as well so we have an update coming and this update is actually looking at a lot of new things and some of the tools that they have have been completely redone so these guys have gone ahead to actually include some sets of tools like the boolean now they have boolean within the sculpt room and they've also improved geometry support they've also improved the the, the cutoff tool they've also done some things with the volumes so now it's going to make a lot of sense when you're sculpting directly inside here and as far as it sounds from what they're saying they've said that this is much more stable and powerful compared to the other ones so if you've ever used 3d codes one of the big uh, downside for me with 3d codes is that if you don't have a strong graphic card you may not be able to actually run 3d code as i mean to your heart content right but then from what they're saying here they've gone ahead to actually optimize the entire thing so it doesn't matter if you have a huge graphic card or not some things are going to just work perfectly fine still speaking about the updates the new curve modifiers are like one of the best things that has actually happened to this new update so most of the tools that they have here are basically redone but the new curve modifiers they deal with things like sweeping lats and and you know and other stuff things that you get to do with modifiers and they have gone ahead to make it so flexible that you can now create organic shapes by just using curves alone so there is just a, a couple of things that to me i think don't really stand out so much but if you've ever used 3d codes and you know you get to see all of these updates that they're putting up together in this new release um i think it's it's worth trying out it's worth trying out there is also some improvements to the uv so the uv automatic wrapping and straightening is also there there is just a couple of things that you can actually get out of this link to where you can find all of these things is going to be in the description so you can read it out for yourself and you can check out the gallery you can check out this tool you can get this tool for free and run with this tool for 30 days and see what it looks like and know if it's actually best for you from the guys at Pilgwe, they have not actually released anything completely official that has to do with the inner workings of these two most of the things that i've actually listed out some of them are still in beta and you can find these things directly within the forum so i'm going to post the link to where you can find the forum and where you can see where people are discussing about this and so that you can be in the knowing of what's going on right now and presently there is some sort of discount so there is a discount for buying the tool so if you want to purchase this tool there's a hundred dollar discount which is actually a huge amount then of course you can make good use of this uh, discount that's available and save yourself a hundred dollar and you know maybe invest it into something else some of the other miscellaneous updates include the ability for you to actually zip your scenes automatically and export them so you can now just bundle your entire scene and zip it just to reduce size and you know export them you can now actually calculate normal occlusion and cavity maps directly and when you when you're painting and so things like the sculpting layers hasn't made it to the you know stable version of this release so these are things that you also need to know about what do you think about 3d coats in comparison to zbrush do you think blender actually sculpts way better than 3d coats tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section below and if you like this video you know what to do go ahead and hit the like button and turn on notification and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace